In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to package a bicycle inside of a bicycle box. So last week, I just got back from a trip to New York City in which I brought my bike with me and I put it inside this box. And I figured before I get rid of this box, I might as well make a video demonstrating how to package a bicycle inside one of these boxes. So this here is a bicycle box. All it is is just a very simple cardboard box that happens to be the right shape and size for fitting a bicycle inside. If you're going on a trip somewhere and you want to bring your bicycle with you and you're taking a bus, a plane, or a train, they're probably going to make you put your bike inside a box like this. So the first important question is how exactly do you get your hands on one of these boxes? My recommendation is to go to your local bike shop and ask them if they can save a box for you. Typically when bike shops get new bikes delivered to them, they come in boxes that look like this and they take the bike out of it and they build it and put it in their showroom and then they've got lots of these boxes they just have to end up recycling or throwing out. My local bike shop charged me $5 to save this box and they also offered me the option of them packaging my bike for me. Although that may seem like a tempting option, I would recommend against it because if you're going on a trip somewhere with your bike, it's going to be you that's going to need to be able to take the bike out of the box and rebuild it and put it all back together. And then when you come back, again, it's going to be you that's going to need to um, package it inside this box. So it's good to have a little bit of experience doing it before you're far away from home and needing to do it. And also, if you've done it once before, you know exactly which tools you need to have with you when you're doing the task. The first thing that I'm gonna remove from my bike is the milk crate and rack here, because they're definitely not gonna fit inside the box. Um, I've already undone the bolts, so basically you just have to take off a bolt here, another bolt on this side, and then two bolts here, and I'm able to take this off. The milk crate's way too big to fit inside the box, but if you have a large enough suitcase, you will be able to fit this inside. So the next thing I'm gonna remove are the pedals, and with pedals, it's really important to remember that opposite side pedals have opposite threads, so a right side pedal has a right-handed thread, which means it uses the right-hand rule. So you take your right hand and you want the pedal to come off, so you point your thumb in the direction you want the pedal to go, and then you rotate your fingers in the direction that you're supposed to rotate the wrench. Um, so if it's not too tight, you should be able to take this off just using a small adjustable wrench like this one. If it's really tight though, you'll probably need a larger pedal wrench like this one. I'll just put my adjustable wrench on there and it wasn't tight at all so i'm easily able to get that off i can just finish it with my fingers like so so now we're on the opposite side of the bike the left side of the bike on the left pedal which means this is a left-handed thread so instead of the right hand rule we use the left hand rule and we want the pedal to come off in this direction the direction that my thumb is pointing and we rotate our fingers in this direction so the wrench goes on there like this and it rotates in that direction now in my case i happen to know that this pedal is really badly seized onto my crank there so i'm not going to be able to take that off but what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to remove this whole crank which is usually a, a more um, challenging operation to do but since this is a seize that's my only option um, so to do that you need a special tool like this which is a crank puller um, so I'll, I'll just demonstrate that i don't have this on very tight this is just for, for demonstration So now I've got both pedals removed, so this section of the bike here is much narrower and it will be able to fit inside the box. When you ask for the bike box, it's also a good idea to ask them to save all the packaging material which comes with it as well. Um, here's some of the stuff that they saved for me. They saved a whole bunch of other stuff which you could wrap all around the frame to prevent it from getting scratched. Now in my case, my frame is already really scratched and really rusty and I really wasn't too concerned about it getting any more scratched. So I threw that stuff out, but uh, I don't think most people would be in the same situation. They'd want to protect their frame from getting scratched. The boxes usually come with a smaller box like this, which is the perfect size for putting pedals in. And I'm also gonna use it for putting in my front light as well. And I'll just close the box like that without using any tape, just so all that stuff will stay together and won't move around too much while the bike is in transit. Next, I'll go and remove the seat which is done on this bike just with a, a simple Allen key. On some bikes, it'll just be a quick release. So just loosen that off. Pull your seat post out, like so. The next step is to remove the stem and handlebars so that they can be placed over here so that they're not gonna be making the bike any longer or any wider. So um, on this stem, all you have to do is just put an Allen key in the top here and loosen this off. But on others, you may have to put a, 
put an Allen key in the side here and loosen off some bolts there. So just do that and then come over here and then break it free if it's loose. Then that should pull out like that and you'll be able to place it sideways like that once it's inside the box. Next we'll remove the front wheel. So we'll start by disengaging the brakes which are on the front and then loosening off the two wheel nuts. And now from there I should be able to lift the bike up and the front wheel will come out. I can put it down like that. Now from experience I already know that this front fender here, it sticks out quite far to the front and it makes it a little bit too long to fit inside the box. So I'm going to remove my front fender so it'll make it easier to fit inside. So I do that by loosening this bolt here as well as the two bolts which are down here. they have already loosened those ones off. Now the final thing that I removed when I packaged my bike the last time was this kickstand here and that's just because it sticks out a little bit further here it makes it a little bit harder to fit inside the box. Uh, for some kickstands I'm sure it would be, uh, wouldn't be a problem, you'd be able to leave it on but I'm just going to do it just to make it a little bit easier. So for me all I have to do is just remove this one little bolt which is down here. Now for things like this when you have a bolt that goes in a certain hole um, I'd recommend just putting it right back in the hole after you've removed it so you're not going to lose it when you have to put it back together again. So now there I've got everything disassembled and all that stuff should fit in the box without taking anything else apart. Now when you get your box hopefully it'll come with something that looks like this just a small narrow piece of plastic and what that does is it's supposed to go down here between your front forks and the reason is because once you put your bike inside the box these forks are going to be at the very bottom and all the weight from the bike or at least from the front of the bike is going to be pushing down on these sharp little metal points and it's a good chance um, that these will eventually cut through the bottom of the box and the box will start to come apart over time. So my recommendation is to take this thing and put it on there and then once you've got it on there then the weight from the front of the bike gets distributed evenly you know over this flat surface here and hopefully it won't cut through. To keep this from coming off when you're placing it inside the box I just recommend putting some packing tape on there so it'll stay put. Another thing which will probably come with your bike box is something that looks like this and that's a derailleur protector and that just goes in here on the back wheel and basically what it does is it just puts some, a place for some pressure to go on the side of the box so all the pressure from the side isn't going up against your derailleur so hopefully your derailleur won't get bent. So now we're ready to start placing things inside so I'd recommend starting with your seat and putting it near where the front of the bike is so it's going to sit basically down in there like that once it's inside so just kind of put it there near the front and you can also put this box of pedals and things so it'll be sitting down below here down below where the bottom bracket is kind of in the middle like this all right so now we're ready for the main part so we'll just lift this straight up and now you can see that the brakes the v-brakes here at the front are sticking out and they're kind of going to get in the way when it goes down so i'd recommend rotating this like that so the brakes are going to be inside and protected and making this front part so it's a little bit shorter and then we'll start by dropping this front part down like so then we can pick this up like that and get it out of our way something like that and then i can just push this down a little bit further and my fender here is getting caught so i just had to pull that up to lift it out of the way and there you can see i've got my bike sitting inside the box. So now I'm going to put my front wheel inside of this area here and you want to get it down so that this wheel bolt is going to get around the frame here and kind of sit in the middle there and have that bottom crank so it's rotated in such a way that it's not going to interfere with the spokes there. So you want that bottom crank which is down in there, you want it facing in that direction like that. So I'll just do that now and I'm just going to lift these handlebars back out and kind of get them out of my way a little bit for the wheel. So something like that, there we go. My front fender I can just set back here sitting on top of my back fender like that and that's not going to get in the way at all. And then my kickstand I can just drop down beside where the kickstand would normally be down there. Now the only other thing is to get my handlebars sitting back inside there again now that the wheel's in. So I can kind of just lift them in like so. Now you'll notice that my seat tube here kind of sticks a little bit above where the edges of the box are. So if I was to just press this down on here, 
there's a good chance that this would start to cut through the top or the bottom of the box. However, luckily the box came with some of this foam packing material. So I'm just gonna place that on top like this and tape it in place so that when the box is on there, it's pressing up against the foam instead of this metal sharp part. Also with the way that the front wheel is sitting inside there, the front axle is kind of pushing up against the side of the box like that. So I'm also gonna take another piece of foam and put it on there to prevent that axle from pressing through and puncturing the side of the box. So the foam just goes in there and behind and then I can just use some tape to hold it in place. So now I've got both pieces of foam securely taped in place so they're gonna stay put while the bike is in transit. It's also a good idea before you package up the box to make sure that you check and make sure there's no other parts which are either protruding into the side of the box or two parts which are gonna be rubbing up against each other and scratching the frame of the bike. If you see that, you wanna put something in between them to prevent that from happening. So now the box just closes up like this. These two tabs come in. One side goes down first. This is the bottom one. And then that goes on top. And then I would just use regular packing tape to tape the box up. So this is what it should look like after it's been all taped together. Uh, basically you wanna start with some pieces of tape and just kind of secure them over on this side and then pull them tight and then pull the two sides of the box together. And then you just tape that down so that you're not gonna have you know, a big gap in there. You want this to be pulled together really nice and secure. And then after you've got a bunch of pieces that are going across, you know, all the way across the top, then just run another bead of tape, you know, all the way along here and across here as well. It's also a good idea to go around the box and inspect it and see if there's any areas where it's ripping or anything like that because you don't want to rip to start getting bigger as it's in transit and find your, your box, you know, totally ripped once you get to where you're going. So just all you have to do is just put a piece of tape over there and that's going to help it from ripping any further open. So after you've got your bike packaged inside of its box, it's really not that heavy so you can you know pick it up pretty easily and move it around with you. However, if you're traveling with the box, you're probably not just going to have your box with you, you're probably going to have some kind of a suitcase with you as well. So it's really hard you know to carry this around while bringing your suitcase along with you as well. For my trip, I built this little dolly which has skateboard wheels on the bottom. And I just made it out of a piece of plywood, but there's two side rails, which are the same thickness as the box. So if I want to use this, all I've got to do is just pick the box straight up and line it up on top, drop it on there. And now it's easily on wheels. And I can also turn it really easily just by tilting it so that only one of the wheels is down. And I can turn it around sharp corners. So with my box on wheels, I can very easily walk through an area with both my box and my suitcase. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial showing how to package a bicycle inside of a bike box. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.